Every existence has its root, so am I. I was born as a Naga, lived as a Naga, and I was told to be an Indian and called Indian. To be an Indian is a privilege, but being a Naga is my pride. Who are you, a Naga or an Indian? Pierced ears, tattooed face, headhunting routine, courageous mind makes us a proud Naga. But blows had made us to be insecure Indian, and our future is very clearly blurred. Who are we, a Naga or an Indian? We studied about Gandhi and incredible India. We say Jai Hind to salute and sing Jana Gana. But many people across the country called us a Chinese Momo and take us as a foreigner. Who are we, a Chinese or an Indian? Naga brothers fought for India in Kashmir border, but our brothers are murdered by Jawans in the village corner. The Indians had buried our rights from the United Nations, but we still bring medals for India from abroad. Who are we, a Naga or an Indian? Indianization sits in our saving box and brains, but the blood of a Naga passes in our veins. The fearless fighting forces, the blood of a warrior, will multiply so long as the smoke rises from our heart and the river flows in our land. Who are we? A coward or a brave warrior? We have our own flag, but we raise the tricolor respecting India and the Har Ghar Diranga campaign. Though our sisters were mercilessly raped, brothers brutally murdered, and churches mockingly burned down, we still respect India. Who are we? A Naga or an Indian? I'm not preaching anti-national thoughts, but this is my testimonial thought. Tribalism has led to division in our vision. We are always fooled with fake promises and many money-mongering Naga leaders are leading us. So now, none can be trusted, but I'll still hold on to my identity. I am a Naga. Who are you? A Naga or an Indian?